Now it's very important that if you don't like what you see, to use Control Z right away and undo the effects. In this case, I'm having to hit it several times because if I just try and a different effect, it will not always work with it. So let me go ahead and apply one of these. Here's a fade up. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Double clicking on it automatically applies it to this all about me, my second copy. Being at zero seconds is very important and you can see it pop into place there. So if I, let's say, wanted another effect on there as well, it will not always work. Let's try something else like uh, wipe in to center. If you do that, things can get very confused. It only does that one, not the previous one. So undo until you're pretty certain of what you want. Now there are also animate out effects. Let me back up to the text and go to animate out. And you can see some of these. Uh, here we go. Fade out slope. You might think that applying it would just make it disappear. But notice that the first effect is now gone. It's been replaced. So if you want to have it animate in and animate out, there's a reason why we made a copy of this and why once you get this set to the font and color and everything that you want, you don't want to go back and change it. Let me control Z undo and show you what we can do here. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to shorten this to that point. I'm going to make another copy, duplicate layer, control D, and now I've got a third one and I'm going to make it so that it appears right as that one ends. So if I turn off this eyeball, there's nothing there until this one shows up. So now I can put my animate out effect on my All About Me 3. Let me find this animate out, fade out slow. I'm going to double click on it and now I've got one layer or one source here that animates in and then it's going to animate out. I'm going to press the U key and move these keyframes over some so that the words are on the screen for a good two seconds before they disappear. So it animates in and then it leaves. Now you're going to want to also have your name on there and do pretty much the same technique. So there's plenty to experiment with there. The question is how do I put that in Premiere now? Let me go ahead and do File, Save As, and I'm going to put this in my H drive because that's how you're going to get back on your computer. You can save it right in your video project folder if you like. Here's the All About Me intro, and I'm going to save and replace the one that's there. Now I'm going to go to Premiere, and I want to put something right here at the beginning. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to import an After Effects composition. We do that with Adobe Dynamic Link. So I'm going to import the composition that I just made. It means I need to know where it is. That means going to my H drive in the video and there is my All About Me intro. That's the file. You can have several compositions doing different things. In this case we just have the intro and now it's going to be here in this asset box for me to put right there. Take just a second for it to connect up. Now here it is, my intro. Remember it was 10 seconds long. I'm going to delete this old one so that you can see it. So notice there's no background color. And since I've got 10 seconds, I might want to move this over for a minute. So if you want some color there, it's pretty easy to make a color mat. File, New, Color Mat. And I'm going to pick, let's say, a nice dark green as an example. And I can put the color mat underneath. So that's why I didn't worry too much about color in there because this might be where I want to play with it. All about me and then have it fade out. So that's really as long as I need it to be. I'm going to
to ripple delete. And now I've got an animated intro. I want to put my name on there, do some other animations, but that way it's very easy to make it part of your Premiere project.